Good afternoon, Winnipeg. We have reached Winnipeg, Manitoba, and right now I am in Assiniboine Park, right at home plate of the baseball diamond. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever been to this section of the park before, but I think I have a, a general idea of where I am. I think if I just keep walking in this direction, I'm going to get to the, uh, the section of park that uh, I know and love. Um, so I guess uh, I'm slightly starting off the uh, Assiniboine Park adventure lost, which uh, was kind of a, a funny story. Last time I was in Winnipeg, I got lost in this park, and it started raining cats and dogs, and I couldn't find my way out of the park, and I just got absolutely drenched, and my phone got ruined. So um, I don't think I'm going to get caught in the rain today. It's, uh, it's a gorgeous day out, and uh, I'm just going to keep walking down here, and uh, hopefully I can uh, get back to uh, parts familiar once again. Well, I believe I'm in uh, familiar territory once again. Uh, just walking towards, uh, well, something I won't reveal the location yet, but uh, just behind me there is the uh, Pavilion Gallery Museum. And uh, we're just going to take a little hike down here to... Uh, a little something that I won't reveal just yet, but it's going to be good. Ladies and gentlemen, the one thing you uh, quickly learn about Winnipeg is that this place is an absolute zoo. And it turned out that that entrance was closed. So now I have to walk to the east gate, uh, which apparently is a good t 10 or 12 minute walk. And uh, we'll get into the zoo from there, I hope. That is the sorriest sounding whistle I've ever heard on a train. Ladies and gentlemen, the one thing you quickly learn about Winnipeg is that this place is an absolute zoo.
Okay, um, where do I begin with this? I'm on uh, Highway 1 heading uh, westbound toward uh, Brandon, Manitoba. I've left Winnipeg. Um, it's uh, really hot today and I'm tired. Um, unfortunately my camera ran out of batteries uh, at the, uh, the zoo there in uh, Assiniboine Park. So. I apologize. I uh, I couldn't even get the uh, the best parts of uh, Assiniboine Park on camera there, um, but I did get some uh, some footage of the uh, zoo there, uh, and I still did get to uh, to walk around Assiniboine Park. So I guess the main thing is I saw it, um, but uh, I apologize for uh, for that. Uh, the uh, second thing is um, I was hoping to uh, to make Brandon Manitoba tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I guess my uh, my little adventure in uh, Winnipeg took up uh, a lot of time, and uh, it's getting late right now. It's, uh, it's almost seven o'clock, and uh, still got a couple of hours to go until uh, Brandon. And uh, I kind of want to get out the way because I'm uh, I'm exhausted right now. Um, the uh, the other thing is. Uh, I think I'm going to have to uh, stay at a motel tonight because um, i got to get somewhere with uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, I just uh, stopped to uh, fill up for gas and um, when I tried to pay for it, uh, it said that I had insufficient funds in my account, which uh, makes no sense to me whatsoever because uh, I just took out cash yesterday and uh, I still had several hundred dollars in my account, so I'm going to have to look into that and see what that's all about. Uh, I was able to pay for the gas using my uh, savings account, which I, uh, I guess had enough money in it. Uh, so I got that covered, but uh, I still want to get somewhere with uh, Wi-Fi tonight to uh, um, see what uh, what's up with my uh, my account and why there's no money in it right now. So uh, I'm gonna try to uh, stop at the motel again tonight. Um, that's about it for now. Uh, well, I guess uh, there's a little bit of good news in that um, I'm officially uh, uh, further west than I've been in, uh, well, since 2008 when uh, I drove it to Vancouver with Jay. Um, in 2010, I, uh, I drove to Winnipeg, but uh, no further than that. And uh, right now I'm on my way to, uh, to Brandon, so I'm uh, officially uh, further west than, uh, than I was in uh, 2010. And, uh, Hopefully, uh, we'll get right out west to uh, the BC there. Okay, I'm going to uh, let you go for now and uh, check in when, uh, when I'm stopped again tonight. Okay, guys, I'm in uh, Portage La Prairie, Manitoba right now. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Maybe it, it, it seems like one of those uh, cities that... Uh, gets you with the pronunciation so if it's portage la prairie or something like that then just forgive it but uh, anyway it's not important um i've uh, i've been uh, online with uh, online banking uh for the past little while and um ended up calling the uh telephone banking to uh, to talk to somebody about uh, that insufficient funds thing and uh phew uh because uh luckily it's uh, it's no big deal um I do I uh I do have uh sufficient funds in my account there was just a, a hold put on it for uh financial reasons which I won't get into right now because I'm not going to outline all my uh, my financial history with you guys. Um but uh I do do still have money thank god and uh the hold on my account expires in uh just a couple of hours 11 o'clock tonight. So uh it looks like uh I'm all set to go and uh that's good to uh, to get it out of the way because uh, I almost had a heart attack there, thinking uh, maybe somebody had uh, hacked into my uh, my account and uh, taken a bunch of money or something like that. So, no big deal. All's well that ends well, and tomorrow we'll be heading on to Brandon, Manitoba. Good morning, folks. It is day seven in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. And uh, as you know, I stayed at the uh, motel room here last night. Um, didn't uh, didn't get uh, probably as much sleep as I should have, but uh, you know, that's the way she goes sometimes. 
Um, just wanted to uh, to do this update because uh, you know sometimes when you're on the road when you're traveling you got to uh, you got to take the opportunity to uh, leave your mark somewhere and let uh, let uh, other uh, travelers or other uh, people in the area know that you've been there and uh, you know you you're, sometimes you drive across the uh, the uh, Trans Canada Highway and you see that people have uh, spray painted the rocks on the side of the road or they've made little anook shooks. Um, but uh, you know that's that's not really who I am. I don't like to uh, to spray paint nature and uh, and ruin it that way. So uh, I I uh, made my uh, my own little sign, and it's a little bit more uh, nature friendly. So I'll just bring you around right here. What would the maid think when she sees this? Danny versus Canada, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, that's made of toilet paper, by the way. Um, it's a little bit more nature friendly than uh, spray painting, but uh, on the other hand, I did use uh, a whole roll of toilet paper and then some to uh, create that. But uh, you know, it's not permanent, so it's no big deal. So, Porter's La Prairie, I've left my mark. You know I've been here. Good news, bad news, folks. The uh, the good news is. Um, that, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I got out of the, uh, motel room just before the maid walked in to see my little, uh, uh, sign thing there, my little, uh, trademark. Um, so I got out just in time. I didn't have to explain myself or anything like that. Uh, the bad news is, uh, we've missed a milestone. It must have happened as I was driving through Portage La Prairie. And you can see right there, we've just crossed 6,000 kilometers, and I just missed it by about 12 kilometers. Uh, so, well, hopefully we can catch uh, 7,000. We have officially arrived in Brandon, Manitoba. Uh, we're getting out west there, folks. Um, just stopped right now at a uh, Canadian Tire. Uh, just uh, taking a little bit of a break before uh, doing a little bit of sightseeing. Hopefully, I got to uh, look at my uh, my tour guide and uh, see if there's anything good to see in Brandon, Manitoba. Um, just wanted to uh, give this update though because uh, uh, Brandon Manitoba has an absolutely awesome radio station and uh, I'll just play a little snip of, a snippet of it right now for you. It's uh, it's really something good to listen to when you're on the road. Great uh, great uh, radio station for uh, for the road. So here we go. This is uh, 88.9 in Brandon, Manitoba. Awesome radio station. The information provided on the station will be for highway closures. Please be advised that highway condition information is available by calling our toll-free number at 1-877-627-6237. Thank you. This is the Department of Infrastructure and Transportation's Travel Advisory Radio on 88.9 FM. The information provided on the station will be for highway closures. Please be advised that highway condition information is available by calling our toll-free number at 1-877-627-6237. Thank you. This is the Department of Infrastructure and Transportation's Travel Advisory Radio on 88.9 FM. The information provided on the station will be for highway closures. Please be advised that highway condition information is available by calling our toll-free number at 1-877-627-6237. Thank you. This, this is, is the Department of Infrastructure and Transportation's Travel Advisory Radio on 88.9 FM. The information provided on the station will be for highway closures. <laughs> 